Hello everybody, we are back with our defense stack Moonlord farm, uh, the, or the beetle farm, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we have uh, a couple of issues that have been brought to my attention by the community, and I want to go over those because I think uh, I've found the solution for you. Now what I'm going to do is I'm talking, I'm going to activate all my buffs. We have our well fed, our iron skin, our heart reach, life force, endurance, regeneration, Inferno for extra damage, we have our Rage for extra damage, and our Wrath for extra damage. Uh, somebody mentioned to me that I was using the Space Dolphin machine gun. It is my favorite weapon, but they pointed out that it is a post-Moon Lord weapon. It is a drop from the Moon Lord, so we are going to be rolling with the Vortex Beater. Uh, everything from the Beetle Armor to the uh, Expert Mode accessories that I am running with that I went over in our last video, I'll go over them again shortly, can be obtained pre mood Lord, so there are no worries there. Now, what I have added here to our little uh, chest is I have put in our Stardust Dragon Staff, which I always have out. I think of it as like an extra buff, so I bring him out just to do a little bit of extra damage. I think everybody should be running with him. Uh, he is, he's great no matter what class you are. He's just help, extra help. Now, what I have here is the Bewitching Statue. This activates a 10 minute buff, which increases our maximum number of minions. So, boop, let's summon our Stardust Dragon again, and lo and behold, he has two segments. That is going to up his damage. Uh, this is going to help you guys out tremendously. Now what I have down here is a summoning potion that I also put in. Boop, let's activate that, and... Ooh, three segments. Awesome. So now he's going to be doing even more damage. If you're struggling with damage, that is going to be a uh, kicker for you. Let's activate our farm. Summon our Moon Lord, and get up in the honey. Okay, now, the thing that I think might be the problem is the buffs, guys. Uh, the buffs are very short in duration. Now, the fight lasts quite a while. They may drop off what, while you're fighting, and you won't even notice it. So keep an eye on those buffs, guys. In the middle of the fight, I'm going to stop everything that I'm doing, and I'm going to rebuff. Just to show you when they get low. Uh, we'll go over accessories again. We have warding on everything. Seven defense with our flesh knuckles. Frozen turtle shell activates our damage reduction at 25, 25% uh, damage de reduction at 50% health. So our our health is going to be floating around the 300 mark. We have our worm scarf, 17% damage reduction. Damage reduction is additive according to the wiki. So it it's not multiplicative, it's additive. Uh, you can look up the Frozen Turtle Shell on the wiki there if you guys have more questions. We have our uh, Paladin Shield, our Celestial Shell, and our Shiny Stone all have warding on them for the regeneration. Now we're going to be blasting away here. Uh, if you guys want to download the farm, uh, I have this in the in the description. The link will be in the description. You can download it from Curse. If you want to build it yourselves, you guys have that option to you as well. Uh, I suggest using the bubble blocks, which I'm standing in now. Those are the blocks that hold liquid but allow you to walk and shoot through them. I get a lot of questions on what blocks those are. They are purchased, uh, purchased from the party girl once your world has gone into hard mode. Now our little ceiling there where you see it's blocking the uh, Moon Lord's laser, I believe it has to do with the little edge that we've created with the one block that's going down. I tried it with a solid block uh, without the edge and with, and it seems like it's more successful. It blocks it every time with the little edge there, whereas when I did the one solid line, it would penetrate occasionally. Okay, guys, now we're at 300 health. We're going to hover around here for our fight. Uh, this is the most protected spot where we're in. We're going to switch over to this side because we are trying to damage both eyes at the same time. We're using the chlorophyte bullets. They are the tracking bullets. Otherwise, we would not be able to damage his top eye through the wooden blocks there. And we have, oh my goodness, our buffs are almost expired. I wasn't even paying attention, guys. So I'm stopping everything I'm doing, and we're going to rebuff. Everything stops. Okay, now we have rebuffed. We can continue the fight. I didn't, wasn't even damaging him, just, we were just chilling. Now, I'll activate my health potions when I get to around 80 or 90 health. As we are fighting the core now, as the fight draws out, you will slowly get burnt down. You were not immortal, but this fight 
this farm is going to make this fight easier just because it increases your defense. Now, as you see, we're about the 140 mark right now. If we get any lower than that, I'm going to hit a health potion. But I haven't had the need to yet, so we still have our health potions available to us. Now, I got relatively close there because I was not paying attention, but that one we needed to hit a health potion on because we got below 100. The more damage you have, the faster you're going to burn him down, and the less likely you will uh, need to hit a potion. For this case, we've only had to hit one, and he's gone. So guys, if you're still struggling on this fight, get out your uh, Stardust Dragon, get a couple of those potions ready, and uh, use your Bewitching Statue, and it's going to help you out tremendously. Keep an eye on those buffs. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up on my page, subscribe for some more cool videos, and you guys promise me to have a wonderful day.